Good evening, everybody, and welcome to my uh, little garage machine shop here. Uh, today, I think I'm going to be testing some carbide inserts. <clears throat> Excuse me. Some indexable carbide inserts. All right, so here are the tour holders I decided to uh, to go with. Um, pretty much, uh, I would say, some of the most common ones. Um, these are all negative rake, 5 8 uh, cheap Amazon or eBay type uh, tool holders. Um, the inserts, these are the ones that came with these uh, in a kit. So it came with um, the WNMG, TNMG, CNMG as a three-piece kit with the inserts. Um, I don't remember exactly how much it was. I want to say it was about 50 or $60. Um, so extremely cheap. Uh, and then the round um, tool holder here, insert we're going to uh, try that one just for fun um, these inserts are made by the same company all of them so uh, with the same nose radius uh, with the exception being uh, the TNMG is a 331 but the nose radius is the same um, so anyway let me get these in a tool holder on center and uh, let's have some fun all right I got this piece of 12L14 here um, just kind of what I had on hand stuff turns beautifully um, I am going to set up the tool holders here uh, and we're going to get started. Um, right now this measures about an inch and an eighth um, and I understand it's going to get smaller as we turn but uh, I'm going to be taking I'm saying probably about 15 to 20 thousandths uh, each pass. Alright so hang in there I'll be back. Alright so first up we're going to have the WNMG 431 Trigon insert here uh, and I'm going to take, let's do 15 thousandths. <laughs> It helps if you have your feed correct. There we go.
actually a really nice finish. Uh, these are some of my favorite inserts personally. I use them a lot. Uh, they're good for facing. Um, anyway, so that's our first one. Let me get the second one up here and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, so here's a quick close-up of the finish uh, with the WNMG insert. Very nice finish. I can't really feel it, uh, you know, anything in my with my fingernail here. It feels very smooth. Uh, the camera kind of makes it look a little rougher than it actually is, but uh, trust me, it's it's a nice finish. All right, so on to the next one. All right, next up, the TNMG 331. Same speeds and feet. So I stopped just shy of the end here, uh, so you guys can see the difference. Um, I mean, it's, I'm not sure what you guys see on the camera there, but it's clear to me that the uh, WNMG has a better a better finish. Uh, the TNMG is not bad, uh, it just has not quite as nice of a finish. Um, the chip control was very good with the TNMG, but uh, finish-wise, WNMG all the way. All right, on to the next one. All right, the next one up is going to be... CNMG 431 again same speeds and feeds <laughs>
blow the chips off this year. So looking at this, I think the WNMG still has the upper hand here. Uh, you know, this um, CNMG insert is a little bit better than the TNMG. All right, so we're going to try the uh, round insert next. All right, the final insert here is going to be the RPMT insert, round insert, uh, same depth of cut, and speeds and feeds. Here it goes. That's uh, a result I didn't quite expect, but uh, let me get it uh, off the uh, out of the chuck here, and I'll hold it up for you guys to see. All right. Again, I'm really surprised at this here. All right. So, as you guys can hopefully see here, it's pretty clear. So we have the WNMG, we have the TNMG, CNMG, and then the round insert. So you can see that that larger nose radius really gives you a nice, nice finish. I mean, it's just beautiful. Kind of gives you a good idea there. So anyway, uh, I think that's interesting. I hope it helped you guys out. Um, I'm going to continue to do videos like this, and uh, thanks for watching. Take care.